This video, produced by the Texas Forest Service, is to provide you the proper procedures to successfully utilize the tree planter and fabric layer and their proper uses in creating a windbreak. First, park the tree planter on level ground. Next, unhitch the planter from the vehicle. Crank the gauge wheels up just until the coulter blade is sitting on the ground. Attach the planter to the three-point hitch of the tractor. Crank the gauge wheels the rest of the way up. Then make sure to remove the bolt in the gauge wheel adjustment arm. Manually lift the gauge wheel and insert the bolt in the lowest adjustment hole. The planter may need to be raised slightly with the three-point hitch to take any additional weight off the gauge wheels. Remember, the gauge wheels are for transport only and not for controlling the depth that the planter is pulled through the soil during the planting operation. When bolted in the up position, the gauge wheels will be beside the seedling boxes. Remove the 16-inch pin that holds the blade in place. It may be necessary to lift up on the bumper hitch tongue or the three-point hitch to easily slide out the pin. Remember, the 16-inch pin should always be in position when the tree planter is being transported. The bumper hitch tongue should not be removed and should not drag on the ground when the planter is raised with a three-point hitch. If it drags, the chains should be adjusted to prevent this. Do not forget the tongue is in place when making turns at the end of the tree row. The tree planter should be level when pulled through the soil. Use the top link of the three-point hitch to adjust the planter. The four-inch tubing should be square to the ground. The tree planter is now in operating position and ready for use. It is important to water trees immediately after planting to help the soil to settle and to ensure that the trees get off to a good start. Some important things to remember. First, park the fabric layer on level ground. Then place the jack stands under the jacks at the front and back of the fabric layer. Remove the fabric layer from the vehicle bumper hitch by cranking the jack closest to the vehicle down, raising the fabric layer until the fabric layer is free of the vehicle. Remove the bumper hitch tongue by removing the single bolt that locks it into position and sliding it out. Crank both jacks up evenly until the front transport wheel of the fabric layer is off the ground. Remove the front transport wheel by removing the single bolt that locks it into position and sliding it out. Connect the fabric layer to the three-point hitch of the tractor. Using the three-point hitch, lift the fabric layer up until the back transport wheel is off the ground. Remove the back transport wheel by removing the single bolt that locks it into position and sliding it out. With the fabric layer raised, loosen the shank screws of the cultivator on each of the back corners. Let the cultivator's shanks slide down to the white mark and tighten the shank screws. Replace the fabric layer accessories that were removed during transport. Place the fabric roll on the fabric layer in the ready position. Remember, the fabric must unroll from the bottom. The fabric layer is now in the operating position and ready for use. Pull seedlings through immediately to prevent damage from heating beneath the fabric. Some important things to remember.
With a little attention and care, you will soon have a mature windbreak, which will add value to your home and property, and will provide protection for soil and structures for many years to come.